Good morning on Matthew Miller. I'm back on the second segment on this episode. And yes, I'm going to be talking about the climate change hoax and that. Why they say it started from global warming, but they changed it to climate change and that. Or then they just decided to change it to climate revelation or <laughs> then extreme weather. <laughs> it's just that you know that it has nothing to do to do about saving the planet or the environment itself. <coughs> it's about Al Gore having more money as well. That's what the Titan Carbon Tax is about. It's about all that money you pay in carbon tax goes to Al Gore. And there's a funny thing that's in the actually in the Green Ideas and I do buy those magazines. No, because of the, all the climate stuff in there. I know that's one thing I don't really like about the Green Ideas as well because they still, still push us, but I still buy it anyway because they still got some good stuff in there that like some organic products as well and some DIY projects as well and there's one of something funny it says that Wayo Poo fights climate change <laughs> Why Poo well, it's just a why do shit fight climate change? <laughs> yeah, they say that. Oh, well, because all the plunking goes to it. And it does suck the CO2. It's always been like that for millions of years, of course. And the thing is, they need CO2 as well. Otherwise, there won't be as much plankton around. People, CO2 is the plankton's air and also the plant's air as well for the trees to breathe they need it it brings forth oxygen for us to breathe as well it's always been like that for millions of years it's always been like that and this and yet carbon dioxide was actually during the dinosaur age it was actually about four to six times higher than it is today and they say, oh, we need to cut that down by half. That means bring it down to about 200 parts per million, which, according to what Lord Christopher Martin was saying as well, that a lot of plants will die from it because the starvation of CO2. Plants need it, people. They need it. And... If we all producing a lot of CO2, that's a good thing. Plants will grow better. Yeah, plants grow better. <laughs> and there's another one that says that electric tree, in which they have all the wind turbines on those, yeah, on each branch as well. And which that's quite a nifty idea as well. It just has like a miniature wind turbines as well. And yes, that's. God, yeah, it's better than those bird, big bird killing windmills and makes a lot of noise as well. And of course, and it says that, huh, and there's no one that says in the green side, there's Pope tackles global warning. And they say that 45% that the cut Barack Obama wants to make and the U.S. emissions by 2025, that's only 10 years away, and they say it's the most potent greenhouse gases. You know, if it's me, favorite, oh, you may well burn it, because it goes into CO2, and the plants like it. You may well burn it, if you think that's the problem. See, we done it. We done, I done it. Just burn it, it just converts into carbon dioxide, and the plants will just breathe it. <laughs> no, we don't want too much CO2, ours. we just have more greenhouse gases. Oh, he will. You need a corner matata, though, those climate extremists. They need a corner matata, means no worries. <laughs> That's when I watched The Lion King, and that though, it means no worries, man. And yes, they need it, though, those fake environmental movements. Oh, they need a corn and a tana. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, and second of those elite star that's just telling lies to people and doctrinating and tell us that we are all to be blamed for as well and and what Lord Christopher Martin has been saying that there has been no global warming in the past 18 years and it's been going around the world telling people don't you worry about it and we all breathe up CO2 as well and there's not one human being that doesn't produce CO2 we all produce it we all produce it as we speak so you left wing environmentalists don't you worry about it stop worrying about it if you keep worrying about man you need a corner my title, you need tomorrow and pull my tell you <laughs> that though, cause you worry too much about the things that you don't even need to worry and there are environmental issues as well and uh, and according to the TV and C that says that we only just above China with the climate thing as well and of course China is way more polluted than New Zealand as well all the weathers and they can even light them on fire as well and with all the coal fire plants as well it's just that they don't have the scrubber technology and just all that yeah, mercury and then that goes out there because they don't have all the scrubbers or the gasifier in there as well and here in New Zealand, we have one of the cleanest coal-fired plants in the world. It's a lot cleaner than ones in China. So why do you always worry about it? It's the sun, stupid. It's always the sun. It's the sun is pretty much the main driver as well. And there's one in the New Zealand article that says that maybe we should pump out sulfur dioxide in the air to fight climate change. And that was according to the New Zealand Herald as well. And I've got that on my blog as well. I cover that one as well. And there's another one that says in the LA Times that says that we need geoengineering to fight climate change. Now, of course, that has just been causing more other problems as well, like drought and that as well. They're just using the word climate change as an excuse to push those agenda, like geoengineering, cloud seeding and that. That's all they just do as well. It is a, like a false flag as well, because they just find an excuse to do those things as well, that... Oh, we need to have geoengineering to fight climate change. We had to have those aerosols. That's what <laughs> they've been telling us about them in the <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah in the mainstream media. They just tell us so if you find clean trials and put on your website and say that don't you worry about it. They're just to fight global warming. And so no, that's been causing problems. People have been fighting aluminium, bare strontium, bare barium. In their water as well. And there's a website that's called Kentrail Northland at wordpress.com and I'll have that on the link as well. And there's a link that's actually on the widget about Fonica Liberty as well and that actually and she's been exposing all the geoengineering stuff as well. I'm not gonna actually really get too much into it as well and And there are actually good ideas and like good energy technology and why they sort of just want to shut down all the fossil fuel power plants and that like coal fired power plants and that and get us to rely on those windmills that don't really produce much power at all. And so it's probably good but it's not going to be good on a large scale. And I am for like good and clean energy technology as well, but the thing is they gotta work as well. 
and we all need power as well, otherwise we're just going to be pushed back to the Stone Age. And we all need it as well, unless we've got any other ways as well, like unless we have get access to those free energy technology as well. Yeah, it's just that those fucking volumes and they just sort of make me sick as well. <coughs> they just pushing all the climate change hoax and that which they yeah, are like we are environmental issues like deforestation, uh, deforestation, deforestation. Yet trawlers, yeah, because they take a lot of fish as well, and that's devastating to the fish population. And yes, pollution is a real issue as well. It's just that we just gotta know that, and we ain't gonna know real, how many decades they're gonna realize that we don't need to worry about those what more and those ch climate change scares stuff as well. That's what they're trying to scare us with as well, to tell us that we're all being blamed for. We all need to pay our good money to save the planet as well. When it's ever gonna end as well, <laughs> that's the thing is. I probably will be talking more about on the next segment as well, and I probably will be just be in it on the next segment as well. I'll be doing, I'll be continuing on, and I'll be closing it off on there as well. So it's Maxim Miller. I'll see you on the next segment as well. Over and.